Hello and welcome to Kane's Corner. As you can tell by the title screen, we are starting a new game today and it is This War of Mine. This is a game I found from watching other Let's Players, believe it or not. I thought I quite like the look of that. I'm going to hold my hands up and be honest, I torrented it first. I played it, I loved it, and I bought it. I bought, bought it on GOG, I absolutely love the game. Uh, as you can see, I have a continue option, so you know, I have played this before, so this is not blind or anything like that. I finished it twice, once on the old version, which I think was 1.1 after they fixed a few of the bugs, which was a winter start and was terrible, and once on 1.2. So let's get click another try and get started. You can now pick who you want to start with, but you unlock certain things as you play, you see. So, um, And I'm just going to let the game actually pick for me rather than you know pick one. Um, I should say, this is a game about survivors living in a war zone. You are civilians, you are not soldiers. That does mean it can be rather depressing in places. It does mean there are very sensitive issues which are dealt with in the game. If that bothers you, I do suggest you probably not watch the video. It, you know, I don't want anyone getting upset, basically. So I want to put that warning out now so you're aware of it. Alright, we've got... Two survivors, by the looks of it. Looks like we've got two. One of which is sick. Great. So let's see who we've got then. We have the rest of us bombardment has reduced this part of the sea city to ruin. Snipers hunt for survivors, making daytime trips to search for food and water. A deadly game. A local community responded by pulling together with stubborn perseverance. Sadly, some people turned to stealing and worse. Zalata, a student at the Music Academy, lost her parents. After the evacuation of her younger brother, she took Amelia, a lone survivor, under her wing. Together they decide to shelter in an abandoned house and hope for the best. So we have Zlata, who's slightly sick, and Amelia, who's slightly sick. So that's a fantastic start. Thank you very much, game. I hate you, you bastard. Now we've got the new house. This was added in 1.2. Um, treehouse outlet. Yeah, there is. Um, so uh, this could be quite interesting. We only have two survivors, both of which are sick. Yay! Great start. And our first order of business is going to be to clean out as much of the shelter as possible and loot things. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some good stuff. But it can be very random. Sometimes there's a very specific. You know, you will get this. You will get this. And sometimes it's just I'll give you whatever I let you all feel like. So, we'll see how we go. With regards to episode length, I'm wanting to keep these about 20 minutes, but with how this game works, you've got a day cycle, which we're in now, and it finishes at 7 or 8 p.m. I can't remember which, I think it's 8. And then you have a night cycle, which starts at 10 p.m., I think, and finishes at 5. From what I've seen, a full day and night cycle twice seems to be about 20 minutes, so... Essentially, it's going to be 20 minutes or two full day and night cycles, whichever happens first, basically. And as you can see, the two ladies are taking forever to unbury the rubble because they don't have a shovel. If they had a shovel, they could get through this really, really easily. Temperature's good, 22 Celsius there, so we're not worried about freezing to death. That is a problem in this, I'm not kidding. Right, she can uh, go through that, and right, that's locks. What have you found? Bits. Alright, so we need to get you started on something. So go and dig out that for me, please. You go and uh, loot that in the treehouse. Can we please play in the tire? That'd be cool. A few more bits and bobs. Excellent. Water there, which is good. You need that for food. And making moonshine, which you can trade. So, well worth doing. Right, that's a chair she can sit on, that's no use. Is that door lock? Yes. Okay, uh, go in. Go and investigate that, please. And you loop that, and loop that. Ooh, we've got some food, brilliant. Um, she's doing that, so if you could unbar that door, please. 
few more bits and bobs. Brilliant. Go and dig out that. Ideally, what I want to do is I want to get enough to make a crowbar. Uh, because crowbar will then open all this locked stuff. Uh, I prefer the crowbar over... Oh, more food. Over the lockpicks. Because lockpicks are one use. Crowbar can be used multiple times. But it does eventually break. The downside is the crowbar is not silent. So if you're sneaking in somewhere you shouldn't be. You're going to get hurt with the crowbar. It's as simple as that. Whereas, like I say, with the, uh, the lockpicks you won't be. There is a big difference there. Right. So I want the metal workshop first because that's what lets me make that's what lets me make the crowbar. If it could also make me a new mouth so I could speak properly, that'd be even better. But we don't have that option. We're going to need a bed and we're going to need a stove as well because yeah, we you know, we have a fridge, we have a medicine cabinet, we don't have a stove, which is great. So we can't cook anything. Probably should have made the stove first, but to be honest, the crowbar let me get in there, and probably there, and there was something else locked. That looks like it's locked, so we'll be able to get in there. We'll be able to get in there anyway, so it's it's worth doing in my opinion. Right, we have our metal workshop. We can make a crowbar. Please make the crowbar. And then I'll go and bust open that door. Yeah, I'll bust open that door so we can make a start on that pile. She's nearly done that pile so she can break that down and get in there. And I'll probably have a start on that pile. Break open that door, please. Ah, that door's locked. Interesting, okay. See, now you've got the crowbar, you can see what's locked by this icon. So that's locked, that's locked, that's locked, that's locked, that's locked. And that is not. So that's great. A lockpick and some jewellery. Right, well I'll use the lockpick on this door then. The jewellery you can use for trading. So that's actually useful. If you could start digging that out I would appreciate it. That's now open and we're nearly out of time as well. Run down there, see if you can get that open before we run out of time. Oh well. Right, now we're into the night section. Basically you pick an area to go and scavenge. The ruined block of flats is a really good place at the start because there's no danger and there's just loads of stuff to find. This here is how many spaces your people have. So, if I'm okay, like wood, two pieces of wood takes one space. For components, which I will show you if I find any, that's four pieces. I think parts are four or five. Food, I think, is four or five. Water is ten per space. Things like that. So you obviously want to take the person who's got the highest capacity. So we're going to take Zlata because she has the twelve. Emilia has only has ten. Um, at the start of the game, she can sleep, but you do want people on guard. It's going to be quite difficult with only two, actually. So we'll see how we go. We'll take the crowbar. In case we need to unlock anything, in inverted commas. And see how we do. Ideally what I want to do is unlock as much as possible because then I don't have to bring the crowbar back. Which will save me a space. Which means more looting. And more often than not you'll go to the same place several times. Because there'll be stuff you just can't carry and you need it. So let's see what we've got in this pile. Okay, that is components as it says there. You need a lot of them. So I'll take four. That is wood. And I'll take that. I'm going to leave the odd one. Because I want to try and take full stacks if possible really. Uh, I don't think we're urgent for our component. I think there's another one there. Bullets. Really, really useful if you've got a gun. Guess what we don't have. And that is an investigate. See, the baby carriage isn't empty. A few objects lie scattered inside. A rattle, a smiling red crab well worn by baby teeth, a feeding bottle half full of a congealed mass that was probably baby formula, someone must have left in a terrible rush or maybe didn't need them anymore. This is what I said about it being a little bit grim and a little bit depressing. 
Ah, right, that's parts. Parts are good. We like parts. That is electric parts, which are also good. So we'll take them. I'm going to take the book because that can actually help increase people's morale. I'll take the parts and I'll leave the fertilizer. The fertilizer is very, very useful for when you start growing your own veg. And it's also very useful for catching rats. Yes, you can catch rats to eat. Um, sorry if that's just put anyone off their dinner. Uh, I'll do two of them and two of them. Oh, oh, sorry, one of them and one of them. So that gets three and three. We've got veg. Veg is good. I'll explain why after I've made a cooker. Uh, they should stack. Yes, they do. That goes up to four. That'll stack with the other one I've already got. And I'm going to take them. They're weapon parts. Weapon parts are very good for making weapons, believe it or not. But most importantly, you can make a knife, which is a really good weapon. Or you can make a hatchet. And that hatchet is brilliant. Uh, it's one of the first things I like to get if I can. These are grated, uh, which means you need a saw blade to get through them, which we don't have at the moment. Um, I don't think we can make one yet either. Alright, more food there, which I can't pick up, and loads more of everything else. So I'll tell you what, I'll leave the book behind to take the food. And that's all done, so I'll just run to exit. I think you need the upgraded metal workbench to get through um, grates. So we might have just changed our priority from, say, making um, a hatchet to upgrading the workbench. Our other priorities are we need a cooker. We need a cooker pretty quick. And we also need a bed because we have two people and, only, and no bed. If we have a bed, we can rotate them for sleeping during the day, which will be very, very useful. And uh, once I've got a bed made, I will show you that. That's a very long loading screen, isn't it? Maybe I should move this game to my solid state instead of using the normal hard drive. I had a really good haul, look what I got. Yeah, you actually didn't do bad. And we weren't raided, which is what I was expecting. You normally don't on the first day. Um, she's tired, so... She slept poorly. They're both hungry, they're both still slightly sick, because we haven't got any medicine. Um... Not a lot I can do about that. And we haven't got any beds, because if we had beds, they could sleep in the beds and they actually start to recover naturally, which is actually very nice. So what we're going to do is carry on looting our uh, our shelter. See if we can find anything else. She's digging that out. Some more water in a book, okay. Just having a quick look at what we've got. We've got quite a good amount of electrical components, that's nice to see. We've got the jewellery, which is good. Jewellery is completely and utterly useless, except for trading. It's as simple as that. You, yes, you are. And she's still digging that out. Anyone coming? No. Can I nick the tank? I want the tank. This war of mine. Called that because you steal a tank and beat the crap out of people. You know, if this wasn't, you know, having like holes in the ceiling and stuff, it'd actually be a really nice house. I'd love it. No, it was fixed up. Then again, if I was in a war zone, I'd probably live here regardless because you don't have a choice, really. Let's be honest. Alright, that pile's nearly done, which means we can now bust that open. And the trader's here. Because I recognise that guy. Right. We have bandages. Bandages are fantastic. Right. Get upstairs, please, and uh, trade him the jewellery you've got. We ain't going to get much for it, but if I can get a few bits and bobs to make a bed or a cooker or anything like that, that'll be good. You have good news. Alright, maybe you're not the trader. You're not the trader. Some charity organisations were handing out food in the market square. Thought they'd given up on us. I took as much as they would give before Grasny Mortar started firing and everyone had run for cover. I was lucky to have made it. I could give you three canned food. Um, thank you very much, whoever you are. I've never actually had that one before. 
okay, that, yeah, that is legitimately a event I have never had. That was cool, okay. I was right, we can't make the saw blade yet. So we won't. We won't even try and upgrade that yet because we do need a bed, uh, as I said. We also need a cooker, so I'm going to get the cooker made first because I do consider that a priority. And we'll put it in the kitchen. And Amelia has just finished there, so she can bust open that now. Anything good? Another lockpick. Some meds. Excellent. And some water. And an other. I bet the other was a book. Right, uh, there's nothing else left for us to loot. So, uh, we'll have Amelia make probably a bed. We do need a bed, as I've said, so. But we're getting the cook cooker made, which is a priority as well. We have enough to make a bed. that there for now. Well, put that there full stop, really. Alright. I don't think we're going to have enough to upgrade that, but we can look at it to work out what we need. We need components, and we need wood. We have parts, so that's fine. We need 24 of them, which is 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Six stacks of components, and one stack of wood to upgrade that, which we can probably get from the ruined flats. She's making that. Excellent. Well, basically all we can do really is uh, is wait. And then we'll put Zlatter in bed. That way she can sleep off the last night. And there isn't really anything else we can do. So we'll end the day early. Normally you don't want to do that because you might miss something. But in this case, we're going to... Oh, God, Sniper Junction is open. I'm, that might be a, a visit. Um, anyway, Zlatter is still tired. So she's going to sleep in the bed. And Amelia is going to be doing our scavenging tonight. We're going to go back to the ruined block of flats. Because we know there's still stuff there. We don't need to take the crowbar because I think we've unlocked everything. Uh, except for the stuff behind the grates because we need saw blades, which we can't make. Which is why we're trying to upgrade the metal workshop. So, uh, yeah, that that doesn't matter at the moment. We don't need to take anything. All right. Now, how many components does that need? It was 24, wasn't it? So it's six stacks. So fingers crossed then, people. That's not a stack. That's just one. What's in here? A component, I think. Yes, I'd left a component behind, so that's two. Fertilizer, no. And I need a stack of wood, so there's wood. Poor Amelia, she's going to be going to bed as soon as she gets back. Uh, nope, nothing there. Nothing I want yet. Uh, I think she's a coffee drinker, so I need coffee. Cigarettes are tradable unless you've got people who are smokers. If you've got smokers... Oh, hello. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Nearly got what I need. If you've got smokers, you probably don't want to trade them. Because not getting cigarettes does severely impact their mood. It will make them depressed and sad. And in one person's case, they will actually turn violent and kill your other survivors. It's a really good idea to um, keep their needs dealt with. Even if you don't agree with it. I mean, I'm going to hold my hands up. I'm a smoker. In this situation, I think I'd rather trade the tobacco. Simple as that. Not sure if I could live without coffee, though. I I'm really not sure on that one. So, I think we've done alright there. We should now have all the components of wood we need to upgrade the bench. But we still might not be able to make the saw blades. Because we've literally got enough to upgrade the bench and that's it. So, we might be basically in a bad situation there. But if we can at least get it upgraded, that's a good start. 
Ah, uh, the forever loading screen. Day three. Were we raided? We were. And they took our food and our water. Great. Anyway, I am going to end that episode here for today. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope this has been interesting. And I hope to see you all next time for, you know, another episode of this next week. So yeah, cheers. And remember, game hard or go hard.